Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am sharing my Bath & Body Works candle collection. I haven't done one of these in a couple years, but I do like to do them from time to time. And you guys wanted to see it based off of my Bath & Body Works collection video that I just put up. And it's literally the perfect timing because I just emptied all of my candles out of my room while we were putting in new flooring in. So I am putting them back. So I figured why not just go ahead and film this video. I'm not really trying to collect the scents. I do have some nostalgic ones, but I truly want to burn them, use them, let you guys know if they are any good or not, but I don't know. Some scents, it's just hard for me. I do hang on to them, like some of the older ones that you can't really get anymore and that haven't come back, but really I want to use them. I want to burn through them, so that is the goal, but anyways, I think you guys will enjoy this one if you guys want to see my full collection that I have right now. I'm not keeping a lot of backups either, so you will see that. I used to always have tons of backups, but now I just have a few, so I'm trying not to keep too many extras. But you'll get to see some fun older scents in here, some classics, and some new ones. So let's go ahead and get started. So currently all of my candles are in this very large container from when I took them out of the room. And we're going to be placing them all into here. And hopefully they fit in just these two spots. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> and I'll show you all the ones I have. So first up, we have one of my all-time favorite candles, Wild Berry Jam Donut. This one came out last year. It actually smells a lot like the Raspberry Jam Donut Body Care, and they do have this one out again. It is so delicious. Next up is Give Peace. This is the Mahogany and Vanilla. So pretty. I love this one. It's literally Mahogany Teakwood mixed with a really sweet frosting vanilla. I don't know how, but this combo just works so well together. This one came out last Christmas. This is the original Strawberry Pound Cake Candle. This came out, I think, even before Body Care was available. This one came out in 2019. You can tell from the date code here. It starts with a 9, so that usually means 2019. I do have the Love Cotton Candy Champagne, which matches the body care. I think this one's really nice as well. Again, I talked about this in my body care collection video, but it smells like Aqualina's Pink Sugar Perfume. It does have a little bit of a burnt note when you're burning it, like a burnt sugar, but I think it smells really good. Next, we have this classic Warm Vanilla Sugar. You guys already know it matches the body care. This Crystal Waters one is so pretty. I don't know why I have not had a chance to burn it yet. They've never came out with it again, but I absolutely love the blue wax on this one. It is so fresh and aquatic. This is a really nice fall fragrance, the Mountain Teakwood. It smells like kind of a f outdoorsy mahogany teakwood scent. As you can see, I really love the teakwood smells. We have You're the One in the candle. I don't know if they still make this one. I know every time they release a new signature scent, it always comes out in a candle, but it's only usually for that one year. But I absolutely love this in the body care. The candle, it's great as well. It's like a rose scent. Now, one thing about me is I love anything banana scented. This is the tropical banana. This one is amazing. I wish they would bring this one out again. It's so sweet. It smells like a banana, like daiquiri kind of scent. I just love it. We have a summer boardwalk, and this one is actually, well, it says established in 2012 is when it came out. This one is actually from 2019, but this is a classic summer scent. It smells like you're at the fair, like caramel popcorn, candy apples. It is so delicious. Another signature candle, we have the fairy tale. I feel like I just kind of collect these at this point. I should have got another one. I'll have to see if they still make it, but I love this one in body care. It smells like YSL Libra. Another banana one. I kind of refuse to burn this, but I'm trying not to like hold on to my candles so long. Um, I want to burn them and use them and enjoy it. I just am so sad that I feel like this is never going to come back. It's one of the best banana scents ever, the banana nutmeg bread pudding. I remember when this line came out. Oh my gosh, it is delicious. This one is from 2014, so I've had it a while, but I'm really trying to burn these older candles. I still feel like they smell good when you burn them, no matter how old they are, but you can see that they kind of like melt down like as temperatures change, I feel like they lose some of the wax, but they still perform in my opinion. But yeah, this smells amazing, like baked banana bread. One of my favorites for summer is Island Margarita. It's a really pretty lime scent. This Mineral Springs candle smells amazing on cold. I don't think they've ever come back out with this, but 
it's kind of manly a little cologne like very fresh aquatic um this one came out in 2018 another classic sweet pea i don't think this one has ever been back out in candle i've just kind of held on to it it was like a holiday release i've had this a while this is from 2015 but it smells just like the body care. This is such a fun one as well that has not been out again. It's Marshmallow Musk. It has gorgeous, like, expensive packaging, a very heavy marble lid, and it smells amazing. It reminds me of walking into a Lush store. It kind of smells like, like Twilight bath bomb in a way. If you guys are familiar, that's the notes on it, but I love this one. We also have one of my favorite holiday scents, Peppermint Sugar Cookie. I love this one because sometimes like twisted peppermint and the candy cane can be a bit much. I love that this one also has the cookie note in it. Here's kind of another rare one which I really need to burn because I feel like it's losing scent a little bit. Sometimes with these older ones, if you store them upside down, all the oils will come up to the top. So you can have them lasting a little bit longer if you store them upside down, just a tip. Um, but Sugar Peony Petals, this is a really light sweet floral. This is a summer classic that's been around for ages. Is Tiki Beach, one of my favorites this time of year. I just love how good this one is. It's like tropical, but also kind of sexy cologne-like. I really enjoy it. I think they still come out with it. The Pineapple Pound Cake. This one was really nice from the fall collection. A lot of people either loved it or hated it, but I love bakery scents like this, and the pineapple in here was so good. It's so sweet. Next, we have Rose Water and Ivy. They used to have this in body care, but I think it's been discontinued now. It's actually a really nice, pretty sweet rose scent. I do really enjoy this one, especially in home fragrance. Another one that used to be in body care is Cactus Blossom. I think they only had it for one year, but I do enjoy this one a lot. It has cactus flower petal, sunkissed coconut, vanilla, and then sparkling lemon. Next up, we have this Georgia Peach. I love the packaging on this one. This is just a very ripe, like, pure peach scent. Similar, if you guys remember, back in the day, they used to have market peach. That's basically what this is. It's just a pure peach fruit. Next, I have this white driftwood candle as well. A rare scent, I think. Uh, I like the smell of this one. I don't know why I haven't burned it again. It smells so good. It's a little bit manly outdoors. I get, like, woody notes in it, but a little sweetness, too. I think it's really pretty. I also have the Mint Chocolate Chip Milkshake. I think this one came out last summer, and I hate these that don't have the lids on them. I know they were having lid issues for a while, but this one is really authentic. It literally smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Another banana one in my collection. This is the Banana Split Milkshake. Uh, this one is a very creamy banana definitely smells like banana ice cream it is delicious i absolutely love burning laundry scents especially on like cleaning the house days this one is linen sheets and it j basically just smells like dryer sheets i also have the coconut cream pie candle which matches the body care so freaking good again they need to come back out with this one especially in the candle it burned so well it smells so delicious caramely bakery goodness Another one that everyone wants to see back, this is the Pink Petal Tea Cake. This is like a cult favorite candle. It smells like a rose and cake scent. It's really sweet and really yummy, kind of like whipped rose latte in a body care. This is such a fun one. This is Pink Bubble Gum. I have the original like sweet shop candles. I've been doing Bath & Body Works content for a while. I remember when that collection came out, but then they also relaunched it, which was really nice. So hopefully they do that again because this is like true bubble gum, double bubble scent. I absolutely love this one, and I think it burns really nicely too. I do have the Endless Weekend Candle as well. This is also in body care. You can usually buy in the retired section on the website. I don't even know how to describe this one, but it really smells like summertime. Um, it's very fruity, also kind of beachy as well. This next one is called Happy Birthday, and it's actually Pink Lemonade Pound Cake, which also came out in the original Sweet Shop line. So they have not brought this back since 2000, I think 18 this one was, but it really smells so good. It reminds me of Pink Lemonade, and it does have that bakery note. This is a classic summer one called Blueberry Pie. I still think they make this. It's really good. It's kind of similar to Berry Waffle Cone, though, and also there was a cherry pie at one point, but it's a really strong burner. This is one of the best cupcake smells, and it's Angel Food Cupcake. They have not come back out with this one. This was from 2019, but definitely one of the most authentic frosted cupcake smells that I've seen. I also have in the cake line the sprinkled birthday cake from this year, which is also a really authentic cake smell. 
I think the angel food cupcake is almost sweeter, but this one is also very delicious. Here's a rare one, the cereal marshmallow bar. This one smells like um fruit loop cereal it is so so good i absolutely love this one it came out in 2019 for candle day it's kind of rare this one kind of smells like that this is key lime pie but this is definitely more limey um the other one is definitely more like authentic fruit loop smelling but this one's also really nice i also have the almond blossom candle here it smells very true to the body care it smells a lot like pistachio ice cream candle too. I just love anything with almond. Speaking of pistachio ice cream, this is pistachio ice cream full size. They came out with this in a mini last year. This packaging is everything though. This is just so creamy, so good. If you guys like almond notes, you will love this one. Here's another sweet shop. This is the pineapple cream puff, another pineapple scent that I think is delicious. It really smells like a pineapple dessert, absolutely love. I also really enjoy this passion fruit vanilla cupcake candle. This is so sweet and also has the fruity notes in it. Definitely a good cupcake scent. Here's another laundry scent. This is Laundry Day. This is probably my favorite of the laundry scents. It's just so strong, so authentic to a laundry smell. I'm obsessed. Next, we have the vanilla bean marshmallow. I really enjoy this candle as well. I've had this one quite a while. It might be the original from 2015. But I think they still come out with this one. It's really sweet if you love vanillas. This one is amazing too, the peach cobbler. I feel like mine has gone down quite a bit, but I haven't burned it. I just think from moving around and having it for so many years, it's just kind of melted a little bit. But this is a really nice kind of peachy, almost cinnamony scent. It's really good, very foody. They haven't come out with it again, but I think there was a similar one last year. Next we have the rose water and meringue and this is a little similar to pink petal tea cake but it's very rose heavy. It's still sweet and I do enjoy it. Okay, one of my all-time faves, pink watermelon. Oh my gosh, this is this year's packaging. This smells like delicious watermelon Jolly Ranchers and it's super strong. I'm obsessed. Another sweet shop original. This is raspberry peach macaron. So good. I absolutely loved this one. It's fruity. It's also bakery. They really need to come out with this one again. Next up, we have one of the men's body care, and this is Ocean. And this is just definitely a cologne type of scent. I like to burn these like in the fall and winter time. It's super strong. Next, we have Lakeside Morning. This is one of my new favorites. I feel like I can burn this one anytime. It's so pretty. It's another cologne type of scent, but I just feel like it's very aquatic and very fresh, and it's just perfect for every day. Next up is the Toasted Hazelnut and Praline. This one's kind of different. It reminds me a little bit of Marshmallow Fireside because it's smoky, but it's not as sweet, I don't think. Um, but I did pick this one up last year. It came out for Candle Day. Here's a rare one. This is Chocolate and Pistachio. This is amazing if you guys can find it like by a reseller. It smells incredible. It reminds me of like peanut M&Ms or Ferrero Rocher's. It is delicious. Another body care candle. This is Into the Night. It smells exactly like the body care. That's all I could say. It is a very pretty evening deep perfume kind of scent. Next, we have the Blush Poinsettia. This one also came out for Candle Day last year. And it's another kind of sweet rose. I think it is pretty, but it's definitely not as good as the other ones I shared. Okay, I think this is my oldest candle, <laughs> and I just remember this is one of my first ever Bath & Byers candles that I got, and I fell in love with this scent, and they've never come out with it again, and nothing ever seems close, but you can see how off-colored it is, but this is Aloha Vanilla, and it's from 2011, so very old. One of the very first Bath & Body Works candles, um, as you can see, it's by Slatkin. It still smells amazing. It's a very sweet tropical vanilla. Next up, we have a classic. This is Leaves. I love the packaging on this one. It's so pretty. This is the epitome of fall. Another like fall essential for me is Cider Lane. It's a caramel apple scent. There's my cat smelling it. It is very sweet, very juicy, and delicious. Here's another body care one. I love the packaging here. This is In the Stars Candle so beautiful it smells just like the body care you have to have at least one champagne toast in your collection it's just a classic i do like burning this one i think i like it better in the candle than in body care it's so fruity and it can be used all year round this one i picked up during the candle sale last year and this is red velvet cupcake i get a lot of cream cheese in this one but it's very sweet 
It smells pretty authentic. I also really love this one. This one came out last fall. It's the Toasted Coconut Cupcake. It's really pretty. I love the little bit of coconut that this one has. It's not too heavy on the coconut. And I thought it performed really well. This one also came out, I think, last year. This is Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun. And this one's also very authentic. I get a delicious cinnamon roll cream cheese frosting scent out of this. Next, I have the Paris Cafe. This one was repackaged or restocked, I guess, last year. And I picked it up. The lid is giving it a weird fishy smell, but I think it should be fine once I start burning it. It's just, it smells like you just walked into a coffee shop. Next, I have the London Tea and Biscuits candle. How cute is this? I loved this collection a couple holidays ago. This smells like the Bright Lemon Snowdrop Body Care. It's a really good lemon kind of pound cake scent. I also have a Frosted Cranberry, which is a Christmas classic. This is another fall staple. Next to leaves, this is Autumn, and this also smells like fall in a candle. Gingerbread marshmallow, this one is so good as well. It's so sweet, it definitely smells authentic to the name. Next up is blackberries and basil. This one's a fall candle, but I really like it all year round. It's really fruity, and it just smells so pretty in the house. It's not too heavy at all. This is one of my all-time favorite fall scents, and they did not bring it back out last year, which I do not understand. It is incredible. This is pumpkin peanut brittle. It is so good. It literally smells like delicious caramely peanut brittle. I don't get a lot of pumpkin, but it's just so good and it burns really good. This is one that always comes back every fall and this is flannel. It's kind of like Mahogany Teakwood's like brother. Um, it smells very cologne-like. I always have it in my collection. It's just so nice to have. Here's kind of an older rare one. This is the pumpkin spice cheesecake. I love this one. A lot of people didn't because um, they said it smelled like sour milk, but I don't get that. I think it smells delicious. It's very creamy and very sweet. Another holiday classic, this one is the peppermint marshmallow. I have a really pretty pink one. It's, it smells exactly like the name. Another kind of fresh cologne candle. This one is Autumn Woods. This is another fall staple, and it's pumpkin and pecan waffles. This is just so good. If you know, you know. Another fall staple and winter staple in my house is Marshmallow Fireside. This is a smoky vanilla marshmallow scent, and it's super strong. Next, we have the Blueberry Maple Pancakes. This one really, to me, is just like authentic blueberry. I don't get much pancake from it, but again, this one is really strong and very delicious. And then this is my favorite around the holidays, Merry Cookie. It's just a really sweet vanilla. Another fun cherry one. This is the New York Cherry Cheesecake. I do have the Vanilla Bean Noel. I know not everyone loves this in the candle because it's kind of light, but I feel like I always have to have it in my collection. This is a really rare one. It's very sought after. This is Gooey Marshmallow. It's kind of similar to the other like cookie scents and cupcake scents. Just a really pretty, yummy vanilla. This is another one I love to have in the fall. It comes out every year. It's pumpkin apple. So good. It just reminds me of like walking into a Michael's Craft Store Hobby Lobby during the fall. It's like spiced apple, basically. I also have the Mary Madeleine cookie, and this one is really good. It came out a couple holidays ago. It actually has like an orange cinnamon roll scent to it. So it smells like Pillsbury orange rolls, which I always had growing up. We have them every Sunday, so it's just very nostalgic. And then this one here is the Harvest Pomegranate. I still have yet to burn this one, but I bought this last fall and I think it's really pretty. I just want to quickly bring you guys over here because I do have some more Kindles here and these are the ones that I'm currently burning. So I didn't really want to go too in depth with these. A lot of these are repeats that I already kind of showed, but like I have the Open Sky over here, the Positively Sweet Dark Chocolate Truffles, Prosecco and Peaches, Salted Pretzel Milkshake. I pretty much went over a lot of these. Ice Blueberry Biscotti and Lemon Cake Pop, Pink Lilac and Vanilla, and there is like some more layers back there, but I didn't want to go through that too in depth. And then I do have this little corner here, which just has some of my other brands, like I have Kringle Candle in here, um, and then some newer Bath & Body Works scents that I want to burn. So we have like the Butterfly Scent, the Iced Lemon Pound Cake, Sweet Berry Peony, Linen Sheets again, Lavender Marshmallow, Tropical Island Colada. 
And then in this drawer, I have another chest of stuff. <laughs> My stuff's kind of all over the place. I have some of my backup scents, so I don't. I try not to keep too many backups. I actually decluttered quite a bit because I just don't want to have a ton of backups unless it's a scent I love. But like you guys can kind of get the gist. Or there's just like this is not really a backup. I just need to use it. This is another old one, Frosted Cupcake. This one's actually from 2010, so this is actually my oldest candle. I should burn that. I'm gonna burn it. I'm not gonna hoard it anymore. But yeah, you guys kind of already saw that. I have an older pink petal tea cake, vampire blood, another pink bubble gum, saltwater taffy, cider lane, the perfect Christmas, mahogany apple. I have three pumpkin peanut brittle backups because I love it, and pink watermelon. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I have an excessive amount of candles, but it is my job on here to kind of review the different products. And again, I am trying to actually use some of the stuff up that I have had over the years. I've been doing this for like 10 years now, so that is why I have such a large candle collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys saw any of your favorite scents maybe some that you guys are going to be on the hunt for but i'm going to go ahead and end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if i showed any of your favorite candles i'm so curious to see what you guys are loving but thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys